What we'll quickly learn is um, understanding how to do a very basic break-even point and what-if analysis using Excel. Now, this is very, very useful because it, every single company needs to know its return on investments. And in order to know its return on investment, it needs to know at what point are we breaking even? That is, at what point of time are we actually assuming and covering all our costs and expenses? So... Um, here's a usability project to, as a case or example of importance. So suppose Google Nightingale, Google's healthcare project, has launched a large usability and integration initiative. The project will last, um, or will launch on the third year. Over two years, Google Nightingale will have sp spent. Um, 3 million in year one and 2 million in year two in infrastructure usability design and development at the beginning of each year. So each beginning of every year, just the way budgets are run, Google runs its budgets and it allocates the money across all these things. So over two years, beginning each year, takes care of that. Uh, at the end of um, two years, the project comes into conclusion and third year, it's launched. So Google will also contract 10 consultants for 20 weeks over the course of the project. Their consultants will be paid $70 an hour for 30 hours a week. Google will use ads for revenue. Internally, it will cost Google about $0.05 cents per user to deliver a custom ad based on each user. Now, realize these are all made-up numbers, but this you know, sort of um, gets the point across. Each time a user clicks on an ad, Google is paid $0.10. Cents. So it takes, so every time a Google user needs um, a custom ad using AdWords and AdSense, uh, there's a lot of... Um, server-based programming and a lot of access and um, uh, through the application layers and um, the processing layers that uh, need to be run and then it's delivered. So it costs five cents to deliver to each user per ad and um, every time you click on that ad Google has paid 10 cents. So Google is expected to onboard about 500,000 users to pilot test the project. Question is, how many ad clicks would Google Nightingale need in order to break even its initial course? And the next thing is, Google ends up receiving about 1,000 clicks per user. What's Google's profit? And if the clicks fell to 200 clicks per user, what's Google's loss? So let's jump right into it. So let's start by creating a very basic structure in terms of what are the general costs. So year one, you've caught, it's going to cost Google $3 million. Year two is going to cost Google $2 million. Now, if you're putting away $3 million year one, at the, end of the, at the beginning of the third year, which means two years have passed now, what's the value of the money right and we are simply put assuming that your expected rate of return is about five percent so the way to calculate that is simply a future value calculation so you go into is equal to fv stands for future value this is a built-in excel function saying what's the rate see here here you've got all the parameters so we know that's the rate and then they're saying, all right, uh, how many years are we talking about? So we know that two years, beginning of each year. So two years later, year one to year three, two years. And then we want to know what exactly is the payment. We're not paying anything in between. So zero. And what is the present value? And we know that's the present value. So we've spent, presently, we've spent three million dollars and we close the brackets and we click and it tells you hey three million year one would at five percent rate of return would have been three point three oh seven three million three hundred seven thousand five hundred dollars at the beginning of the third year same thing for year two what we do is we say all right is equal to we want to know the future value so future value and the rate five percent in this case is just a matter of one year so how many years one or how many periods one 
payments, you're not paying anything in between, and then you're saying that's your present value. So in one year, $2 million would turn out to be $2.1 million. And that makes sense because that's 5% of 2 million is nothing but $100,000, and that is added to the whole set. So we know that's the total set, right? So that's your, we need to calculate the time value of money. Time value of money. It's very, very important. Now, we also know that we've got consultants, 10 consultants, $70 per hour. They'll be working for 20 weeks and they'll work, be working 30 hours per week. So all we do is in this case, say, all right, 10 consultants, each being paid $70 an hour on average. They're working 30 hours per week and they'll be working 20 weeks over the entire period. And we click on that and we have $420,000. Now, of course, your total break, to your total fixed costs includes this, this, and this. So let's color code it. Let's suppose we put this color code and that way we also color code a fixed cost. Those are your fixed costs. Then comes your variable cost, which is the cost that you incur every time you actually do something or sell something. So variable cost we've mentioned is nothing but five cents every time a user clicks the algorithm costs and the development costs and the constant process re-engineering and the background programming and um, revisions and so forth they cost about five cents per click on the other hand the revenue per click it, 10 cents per click so what's important to know is something called a contribution margin so again let me i uh, see if i can create a color scheme for that. So contribution margin is nothing but revenue minus variable cost, which is for every single sale you are making, how much are you contributing to the general coffers? So we're saying every time you're, there's somebody clicking, revenue per click minus the variable cost per click is five cents. So now we need to calculate what's the break-even click. And of course, break-even Simply put, it's the general formula is, let me see if I can add a quick text box. So break even is nothing but fixed cost divided by contribution margin. And so let's say fixed cost divided by contribution margin. And in this case, our fixed costs we know is equal to is nothing but five million eight twenty seven um, five hundred and our variable costs are five cents. So our break even clicks be simply going to be nothing but you say you've got I twelve, which is this divided by your contribution margin, or in this case, you can see F40 minus F12, which is exactly the same, revenue minus variable cost. And it tells you that, all right, break even clicks, you need 116,550,000 break even or clicks on ads in order to break even. Now, given that Google has about 500,000 pilot users, how many break even clicks does Google need per user. So how many times should a user click an ad in order to actually start um, making Google a profit? And the answer is simply put, this one, so, is equal to the total number of clicks needed divided by the number of users that you have. And that is 233.1 click per user. Now, if that's the case, you can now say, all right, let's create two scenarios, right? So let's, um, let's say, um, we'll, let's create a quick color scheme for that too, uh, just to separate it out. Um, so you know that um, if you have 
half a million users, 500,000, you need 233.1. Now, suppose you're getting 1,000 clicks per user. Then you know that, all right, what exactly is the contribution for 1,000 clicks per user? And simply put, you immediately know this is nothing but I9, I19 minus J16, right? So you've got I19, which is 1,000 minus how many actually you needed, which is J16. So you're getting 1,000 minus 233.1, right, times F16. And what's F16? You know that's your contribution margin. So simply put, this is nothing but how much are we getting right now? minus how much do we actually need to break even, right? So now we know that's the extra number of mm, clicks we are getting and how much does each click contribute? We know it's five cents. So enter, it tells you per user, that's the case. Now, if you, for half a million users that you have, how much if they each user clicks thousand clicks on these ads, you're going to make a nineteen million hundred and seventy two thousand five hundred dollars in profits. On the other hand, if per chance the clicks were only two hundred rather than two hundred and thirty three point one clicks, then you know it's equal to two hundred clicks minus what you need to break even. Fair. And let's close that within brackets times what's the contribution margin per click and we know that and then how much is it going to be for 500,000 users is equal to 500,000 times the number of which would be k20 and you know that you're going to lose google's going to lose eight hundred and twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars if clicks dropped by three hundred three hundred and thirty three point one clicks well frankly speaking you can't really have three two two thirty three point one zero but just for the sake of it now that's one way they so say that's the way to calculate your break even so this is your break even clicks per user this is very very important and use it whenever you get a chance now, if you're doing a what if, the what if is very straightforward. So we know, remember that all of these, on fixed costs, 582,000 or 5,827,500, variable costs, 5 cents, revenues, 10 cents. You've got your total number of users, half a million, right? How do you calculate your break even? And your break even is nothing but so that we are setting up exactly the same break-even analysis formula. But the last bit is the formula, which is E29. And if you look at E29, it simply says, all right, that's your fixed costs divided by your contribution margin. And of course, you've got your number of users to figure out what it is. So if we want to do a what if, a gold C calculation, we will say, let's say, go to data what if go into goal seek and what we want to know is as follows so the which cell we want to look at how many break-even point clicks do we actually need to break even and we see that all right if we realize that they're only likely to be well, let's say we're going to be getting 1,000 clicks instead of um, 233. Suppose break-even clicks. What's the least we can charge, um, you know, ad or companies that post their ads with us in order to still break even? So what we're saying is, hey, and it's a competitive market. Others are cutting down on their advertisement uh, costs. So you might want to charge a little less, but how much should we charge? So we'll say, all right, so how much should we charge in terms of revenues? And we click on OK. And we suddenly, it does the calculation for us. Says so that 
if you want to, if you're going to get a thousand clicks per user, you could actually get away by instead of charging 10 cents or 10 cents, you could simply charge 6.2 cents per ad posting by advertisers and that will give you a good sense. So make sure that when you click on, you know, your total calculation, now the what if has to be a formula. The rest of them have to be manually entered numbers. Then you can do the calculation. Thank you very much, guys.